Nå, vi bor på Hustad, som er rett ut i sjøen mellom Molde og Kristiansund. Um, vi bor på en uh, stykke av land som står ut, og det ser nesten ut som det der. Vi er på topp her, på Hustad. Her er bud, og ned her er Molde, med noe stor øyne her i sjøen. Og den største her er Gossen, og der har vi en mindre øye som er mye, mye høyere med stor fjell på, og den heter Oterøy. Min far var her i krigen, og han var leder på en skol på Gossen. Um, tyskene tog over skole, og han måtte flytte til Otterøy, Misund. Misund er en liten plass på en av Otterøy, og der satt han opp hans skole. We live on a peninsula, which is fist-shaped. And on the bottom is Molde, here. Here is Husta, where we are. There is Bud, and there is Christian Sund. Remember, it's Christian Sund, not Christian Sand. Christian Sand is under the sofa. Riktig. So, we have a big island in the sea here. This is called Gossen, and it's nearly flat. Behind that is an island called Otere which has very big mountains on it. My father was um, the leader of a fishery school on, at Gossen. He was the, the headmaster. And later, they, the Germans came and took the school over because it had such nice buildings. And he moved the, the school to Utere, um, to a little place on the end of Utere called Misund. And there the school is today. Så, Johan, litt mer om eh, geografien om området. Ja, Bekta, han må også løpt å prate om eh, turisme og fiskeplasser og fjorder og, og ute ved åpne havet. Og, så han får bare dure på så godt som han, og han er veldig flink å fiske, særlig torsk og kveite. Vær så god. <laughs> so, Johan has just said that uh, essentially it's it's me leading this one and I should be doing most of the talking. Yeah. You can learn to speak English, so there are certainly many also from outland that can hear it. Johan is not the first English teacher, but he understands a little bit. So, Beckham can also be able to speak in English, so... Ja, diverse fra andre land kan høre hvor godt vi har det her, og en fin plass vi har. Vær så god, Bekka. Mange takk, Johan. Johan just said that um, I can talk in English because this is more understood by people who come from other lands, but he understands quite well what is being said, so there's no problem there. And also, he is interested that people should see how well we have it here, how, what a fantastic place this is. So, um, Johan has been a fisher here, fisherman here all his life, so he knows many of the islands, in fact nearly all the islands mm. outside here. And we have some big ones. Um, we have um, Una, which is done this way, and that is at the entrance to the Molde, um, if you like, you, you, you go past Una, if you like, on the way into Mold. But um, really what I wanted to get across was the beautiful little places that are hidden here. Looks like we're going the right way. Still, yes. Islands 
where you can simply park your boat and stay and camp and light a fire and fish. In fact, um, Johan, we have um, a season when we all light big bonfires here, St. Hans. We share off Stor Ball. Or there are many who do it out on the island. But um, it is also quite possible to come here as a tourist and find a place to camp and light a fire from driftwood and do as I have often done and just listen to the wild and the nature and chill. Well, Bertram, we som kanske de flesta vet i Norge och massa folk i utlandet så bor vi rätt vid den berömda Hustavika. Och så har vi ett väldigt gott eh, annat tillbud, det är Atlantrausvägen som massa turister brukar och det är lagt ut egen bro för att stå och fiska på så inte med nedkörda bilarna. Och Bektram, han brukar båten och drar bort till dig med sina vänner och han har också många vänner som kommer från utlandet och får på besök och de drar eh, hit och dit så, och fiskar och koser sig och spiser och lever gott. Så Bektram han får prata lite om, 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 om fiskeriet som han eh, driver med på Ystadvika här nu. Right, well, Johan says that I should talk a little bit about fishing here, which I, I uh, do quite a lot of. Um, in the last two years I've joined an organization called Couchsurfing and I've had about 170 people come to visit and a lot of them, a great number of them, go fishing. Now Johan mentioned the Atlantenhalsveen, which is um, a series of islands connected by a road and there's a special place on there which is just marked out for fishermen. They've actually now put up a big bridge so that you can fish from this place in safety from the traffic. Um, to be honest, I quite enjoyed the traffic before because it made them slow down. <laughs> but um, I don't think the car drivers are all that happy to have a, um, a Pollock land on the windscreen or uh, run over the foot of a fisherman. But uh, there we are. Um, I would also like to say a little bit about a little bit more about the geography here because this peninsula which I mentioned here we are just here here is the island of Arvere and you can take the boat in behind Arvere and you have a complete complex of fjords with islands inside there you can go down to Tingvoll you can go down to Sunadal you can go down to all kinds of magical places and in fact, in this video, I will take you over to those places in a minute. That's if you go north is here, that is if you go east. If, on the other hand, you go north, east, south, west, this way, you then begin to go down the coast towards Orlesund, which is here. And again, I can show you a little bit of Orlesund. Or you can go inland, behind Gossen, behind Utere, and then you turn left and come into Moldefjord. And Moldefjord is an amazing place. There's the island of Second right in the middle of it, and I can show you a little bit of that. I have some very good friends there, and I've been fishing there too. Um, and then you have all kinds of little communities around Moldefjord. So this place to explore is, is just awesome and it's a, just such a shame that not more people do it. So Johan and I perhaps by showing what is available here can help this situation. Ja, så må jag också nämna att hamnen var Storhornsvågen. Det regde ett eh, väldigt bra eh, apartmenthotell och många hyttar, Hustavika turistcenter. Så du kan få leje och, och bo här och och fiske från land och eventuellt avtala med någon lokal om att komma ut på själva Hustavika för det är ju en ett öppet havsstycke, beryktat havsstycke så de flesta känner till. Well that's all. Thank you very much and uh, we'll have this out on YouTube shortly. Bye bye.